The more you practice, the better your drawings are going to get. The point of these videos is to help you to get more practice. My name's Kenzo, and this is Love Life Drawing. Together with my mum Mako, we're going to draw a series of poses on the screen, and the idea is that you can get your sketchbook out and draw along with us, and we're going to narrate the process. The photos are from the amazing resource Crocky Cafe, so check them out. They have a YouTube channel too. This is the first pose, going to go for three minutes and you can see in the bottom right there's a little timer. Okay, so we're starting with this three minute pose. So how have you been? You been alright? Um, yeah, there's a bit of up and down, but I try to be normal. <laughs> yeah, because uh, your dog is sick, right? Yeah, and uh, to be honest, last week at the um, restaurant class, I felt really kind of, I don't know, my movement of the arm has been restricted. Um, partially because, do you remember, we did the, the tiny figure video. Yeah. And that one really got me and um, I, I, I became very stiff. <laughs> yeah, and that's Plus, that's definitely not the aim of the exercise, eh? So that was something to be that's something to be careful of with that exercise. Yeah, but uh, I'm glad we did it and it ended. I don't think <laughs> you're, that... glad, you're glad it ended more than glad that we did it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's definitely not your style to draw small. Um, but it was so funny because you had like an A2 sheet of paper and you always like to draw big on a big A2 sheet. And because just because of we, we were doing those that tiny drawing exercise, you did this tiny, you sub, without wanting to, you did a tiny, tiny figure drawing right in the middle, eh? <laughs> Yeah. I'm so careful I me. Mean, I'm easily influenced by what I've done. I mean just I don't know. i and also I was worried about my dog and uh, yeah. that also got me. I so thought for this exercise I try to be freer and more relaxed. Yeah, so what, also, what, what material are you using there? You're using um, a brush a brush pen of some sort. Yes. Thing is that I learned out a uh, paper I usually use for vid video. Yeah. And uh, it's very rare. I, normally I have a print of a paper, but at this time I didn't. And uh, I realized I have a bit of a Japanese paper, which it, I didn't use for ages. And um, I got idea to use it, but Japanese paper doesn't take a dry medium well, but uh, basically made for kind of liquid, I mean, brush and ink or brush and the paint. So I decided doing this sketches with a brush pen and a uh, uh, Japanese paper. Oh, well, that was a good experience for me. I've never done it before, but um, it was nice. Yeah, it's How about it's you? looking really yeah. good. I'm just using a coloured pencil, mm. blue one. And the paper is a cartridge paper? Uh, no, it's newsprint. Ah! Yeah, I like newsprint yes. because then, you know, it's cheap, right? Um, but it it takes the material really nicely, but it's also cheap. So the reason that I like that is, I mean, obviously it's good to not spend loads of money. But even more important than that is when I'm using fancy paper, uh, I, I, I get more like nervous, like, oh, I'm wasting paper if it doesn't come out well. So yeah. when I just use newsprint, I just feel like I can make as many mistakes as I like. It's all good. It's just, you know, it's so so kind of thin and everything, and and 
economical, so it doesn't really it doesn't really matter. So that is good for the drawings too, I think. Yeah, news. I like a news print as well. Uh, um, and I I just uh, just now I thought maybe it takes brass pen well because I don't have a lots of Japanese paper left, and maybe next time I use newsprint with a brush pen. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, you can buy Japanese paper in London, but very expensive. This one, I think, ages ago I got from Japan, I think, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's, it's cool that you're trying new materials and just sketching and just kind of being loose and relaxed with it. Yeah, uh, I, I'm glad I, tr um, I tried. I think I will use more brush pen or just a brush and the ink. Right, yeah because, yeah. because it's much more relaxed and natural feeling than dry material. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so one thing that we... Um... This pose is quite tricky, eh? It's foreshortened, but it's kind of foreshortened in a in a fairly kind of like easy way to understand, so it's not too bad. Yeah, the, in this you can pose, see, you, you can abstract those shapes pretty and you, easily. You can see how I mean, edge of a rib cage and uh, edge of a pelvis. So. Right. Um, quite clearly, so that's good. Yeah, this one's a bit more straightforward. Um, so, was... Sorry, my my hand is a bit <laughs> overwhelming the screen, but um, maybe way of holding a brush because yeah, it's because it's a brush, eh? I have to hold the brush almost vertically, and I am drawing against the easel. So it's a bit hard to see on the cam in camera. Sorry about it. No, it's all right. Maybe maybe next time we could have like a, an you know put the camera at an angle or something. Yeah, I think uh, uh, that um, if changing angle of the camera probably helps. Yeah. Um, so one thing is uh, one thing that we're going to try and do today, and we're already kind of doing it naturally, I think is to be a little bit more positive about what we're drawing, right? Because, um, so my wife Lucy watches all our videos and she said she likes the Draw Along Club, but we're often just saying that, uh, I'm saying my drawings are good and your drawing, uh, my drawings are bad, but yours are good. And you're saying that yours are bad and, and mine are good. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just like I guess all that anxiety coming out and those kind of insecurities coming out um, you think I think that I try to be honest no I think that I do think it's partly just trying to um, I don't know what it is like trying to protect yourself I, I think that's why we do it like you're worried that it's not looking as good as you, as, you know, because you can always find positives in your own drawings, right? Um, and you can look at them in a positive light and kind of be on your own side, or you can yeah. look at them in a, a very critically. And if you just talk critically and are very negative about your own drawings, I don't think that helps anyone, you know? Um, so I think we should try to be a little bit more positive about seeing what what's working um see, seeing what's good and then you know maybe a few constructive criticisms of your own of your own stuff <laughs> just now i realized i put the wrong line <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what, why are you listening to you um, my positivity uh, I, talk yeah i, I just find wrong. that I, I realized i put the wrong line in that I mean, in that breast yeah yeah because yeah, yeah. that line should be over the breast, not the inside the breast. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I can see it too, but I like the I like that armpit. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> Doesn't that? Don't you think that looks good? Her right, the armpit that's on the left hand side, her right armpit. Yeah. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's hard, hard, hard for you to even. Uh... I tell you, I'll give you a challenge. Yeah. You have to say something positive about each of your drawings on this video. Okay. Yeah. I, this one, I, I did a really without any control, just, uh, just a, as, a, as it come. Yeah. Um, so very natural. Yeah. Even though lots of mistake. So that's good about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Uh for me I I uh I, I quite like uh I guess the way I the the sh you know um on her face she's got that shadow shape on the side. Yeah. And I I guess I like how I how it's looking in in the drawing on mine. It's hard to say yeah, something positive about your own. I mean, for us, I think it's quite, <laughs> it's a lot easier to criticize and be negative and then be positive about other people's, right? No, I think uh, your mapping mapping of her um, shadow is really expressive and okay. uh, give a painting, a drawing a kind of abstract shape. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, and I I want to say some negative things about about it now, but I'm not going to because you know what's the point, right? Well, we can say each other the negative thing. Right? That's the next step <laughs> because <laughs> we're 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 good at uh, criticizing ourselves and and encouraging and supporting other people, but um, it's hard to do the opposite. Yeah, and the claim mine's better than yours. And, uh, well, yeah, yours. And, yeah, and you don't want to be like that, right? So I think you can definitely <laughs> take this too far. <laughs> but um, but I think being uh, this, pos being positive this, about your own is pretty is pretty important. This pose is a really lovely pose, but I find that this one quite difficult because she is. Uh, holding that um, serial ball that's, right um, it breaks up the, yeah. the movement that you can see um, that's right torso is, is a, uh, because the ball is the middle of her torso yeah and uh, she's got the lovely lovely um, proportion but that um, shoulder is a very wide but the heart um Pelvis is quite narrow, isn't it? Compa comparing with the shoulder. That's true. And, yeah, uh, very narrow. Now that now that you point that out, yeah. And uh, maybe also it's a bit twisted, so we see kind of a yeah, very subtle twisting. Yeah. So, so the, while very, very elegant, nice pose, it's a hard to draw. It was hard to draw. Yeah, but, um, it's deceptive, isn't it? Because it looks quite straightforward, and it is a nice pose, but it it is tricky. Uh, sometimes this, like that, very very subtle twist, that kind of subtlety is harder than if she was doing an extreme twist. That would be a lot easier. Yeah, this 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 kind of pose could happen in daily life. If you have an elegant shape of body like her, but uh, uh, to draw this naturally is quite a challenge. And I, I do like those poses the best. Poses which are natural, uh, that can happen when you're just doing something, you know, like, yeah, like she's eating a bowl of. I mean, I don't look like this when I'm eating a bowl of cereal, but I don't look this graceful. But, you know, this is, it is a relatively natural pose. Sometimes, you yeah. know, the life model uh, poses are really kind of unnatural and, and that's interesting. But I think my favorites are, uh, are the kind of day-to-day -day natural ones. Natural pose, yeah. And that uh, natural pose, 
doesn't mean、um, lack of subtlety, full of subtlety.、Um, yeah, yeah, I really st- did struggle、see? with this one. Yeah, it, it is difficult, but、uh, worth doing. Yeah. She, she's a great model, isn't she?、Mm. Yeah. I mean, all, the, all the,、um, uh, Crooked Cafe's model are great. Yeah. 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 I mean, to be honest, most life models are great because everyone presents a different figure, right? And that's interesting no matter what. Um, I guess、uh, some, some models are, are really good at kind of doing natural but interesting poses. So I think all, pretty, most models are really good, but some are just excellent because they can hold interesting poses for a long time, right? So、yeah. that you can draw them. Yeah, the, it, it,、uh, each model has、uh, something. Different offer, isn't it?、Um, yeah.、Um, yeah, this pose was really difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Yeah, like this one, I think I got much less of it done than the three minute ones, even though this is five minutes, because I just couldn't figure out w- exactly what was going on. And then what you said about the bowl is interesting. Like anytime there's something blocking your view of the torso, like dissecting it. Like, if their arm is going across it or something, or some other object, I think I always struggle with that, you know, because you can't see the whole of that big shape. And, you know, so you've got you to kind of imagine it.、Uh, so I, I always find that a little bit trickier. Well, but you have to say something positive about your drawing. That's your new policy. Yeah, you too. We don't, we've only, we don't have much time. It's harder than doing the drawing itself.、Uh, oh, it's gone.、Ah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe one of the hands wasn't too bad. I simplified it. What about you? I didn't have a time to finish that, that,、uh, her left leg,、mm-hmm. but that was good because it's better not draw a whole. Leg because normally I don't leave like that, but、right. I'm glad I did. Okay, yeah,、oh, that's cool.、Uh, this is another good pose, yeah. This one is And,、uh, a little bit more straightforward because it's kind of more extreme, right? Got big angles and stuff, and that's often a bit easier to draw. And he's got the、um, daddy. Great figure. I mean, example of <laughs> muscles and、uh, yeah, good yeah. proportion. Got really chunky and, legs, eh?、Yeah. He's got a very solid, thick thigh, but the upper body is、uh, compact, isn't it? Yeah. Comparing with uh, uh, his legs. Yeah. I find that well, I, I like this model a lot, so I often choose his photo, but、uh, I find、uh, his face is、uh, difficult because he's got、uh, both beard and、uh, mustache. Yeah. So the,、um, to capture the correct shape of his head is、uh, often trouble. Oh, you don't find that makes it a bit easier when he's got that beard shape? It kind of helps you because you've got more clear, clearly defined shapes to draw? No. <laughs> I find that, <laughs> it's more difficult. I, I find it's more difficult.、Yeah. But、uh, you, you find it easier? Sometimes, if, they, if, the, if the person has a beard, sometimes I find it a bit easier, I think, just because.、Uh, Because there's more kind of definition.、Um, so, what is the positive thing about、uh, this drawing?、Um, you know, I, I did. I, this was one of, even though usually the 10 minute one, I feel like I quite I do, I do well in.、Uh, this one was, I, 
kind of struggled, I guess. Uh, but I do. We might have to wait for the positive bits to emerge in my one. I think they come out maybe later. <laughs> what about you? Um, I'm same. I have to wait until. Yeah, we're not very good longer. at this. Hey, <laughs> we need to practice this uh, being positive about our own yeah. thing stuff. That's very tricky. Um, so we. No, uh, on the whole, I'm a. I'm a. Uh, um. Uh, positive because I, I'm using a new material for me. Yeah. And uh, I didn't make any underdrawing or something like that, just a straight, go straight with the brush and the ink. Uh, so, because no, when I use pencil, I normally um, make many lines for one part, kind of a tentative, hesitating, tentative line. But uh, with the brush pen, you have to be decided. Like a pen, um, when you use pen, you make a very decisive line. Yeah. So brush, brush pen the same. I mean, uh, basically ink with a soft nib pen, isn't that brush pen? Yeah, so, and it's great for you because you hate the idea of using a. You're not. You're not keen on using a pen. Uh, because to it's, be honest, I I can't use. <laughs> you definitely can. You well. definitely can. This is more negativity. You have to be positive. You definitely could, but um, but you, it you feels uncomfortable, right? But. It's part. Yeah, I think it's, I, I think it's because I don't it, like the, the hardness. The hardness, hardness, right? And so the brush allows you to be more varied and a bit softer. So yeah. You have to commit because you can't move it around. You can't erase it. Uh, but you can be a bit softer with it. So it's like a halfway towards a pen from what you're used to. Yeah. So that's so, perfect. I, I'm very uh, happy about it. I'm using a brush pen. Yeah. yeah, you definitely can use a pen. I've seen your drawings and they're good with a pen. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I, I've never made a good drawing with a pen. I promise. At Christmas you <laughs> did some and they they were good, so... Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to carry on using the uh, brush pen. Yeah, I I like it. Yeah, I think it I think it looks really cool. Because it, um, without making any effort, I simplify. My drawing is much simpler than normally I draw with the pencil. Right. Yeah. You know, one thing I've noticed in, because, uh, you know, sometimes people send their drawings to us uh, where they're simplifying, which is cool. And one thing I've noticed is that people often really focus on the outline of the figure. Uh, like if they... they... You, do, do you mean contour? Yeah, just, but only the outside, out you know, the outlines, like around... The sort of sh the the outer edge of the legs, yeah, just the contours around the figure and around each body part, yeah, and as if those are the most important lines. So if you can only include a few lines, they just do the outlines, and I think that's something quite common for people who are starting out to focus on outlines, but you know those lines within the figure like the tonal shapes that trying to show the form of the figure um, are also really, really important. And so a lot of people need to work towards not just seeing the outline as the key, but seeing those lines within the, fo uh, within the form as just as important. Does that make sense? Yes. But, I mean, it means that you you have to include the tonal tonal gradation as well. No, because... you don't have to, right? Because you can have 
uh, like contour lines, lines of the form within the figure that show yeah. the form, and you don't always even have to add shading to it. Okay, so right? the, uh, like a center line, ax yeah, center like line, um, like I mean, even in your in your drawing here, you've got lines within the torso, but not necessarily all the shading. Um, if you look at Chris Glib, our video about Chris Glib. You'll yeah. see contour drawings where there's no shading, there's no hatching. It's just just thin pen lines. Um, but the lines within the form, within the figure, are telling you tons about the shape of it and the volume of it, not just the lines around around the edges. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Yeah. Okay. Oh dear, my drawing is a face. It's on. Yeah, I'm <laughs> looking at my. I, I can't. I, I'm not. I don't really like the uh, drawing that I did. So I'm struggling to think of something positive. <laughs> <laughs> it's the we we need to practice this positivity thing. I um. think. I think. Even though. There is no likeness. Both of both of us captured uh, kind of angle. Yeah. Angle of upper body. That's true. That's the key of this pose, isn't it? It's a quite a deep angle. Yeah, deep and how area. bent the torso is uh, over that leg, over his left leg. Yeah. And, and how, how kind uh, of extreme that the, bending is. And that uh, an arm go, one arm go of receding, another arm the forward, right. isn't yeah. it? Yeah, you're doing you're doing well with that, with the uh, thinking of good things to say. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So um, that's it for this draw along club. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got some drawings in. Um, and we'll see you next time. So, oh, there's some good stuff coming up on the channel. So definitely check that out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you very much.